Well, hello, hello, it's Margaret here, and I am back with another beauty tip for you in less than 10 minutes. And today's tip is on hooded eyes. If you have hooded eyes and you want to stay tuned because I have um, a couple easy and quick tips that you can do probably with what you already have um, as far as eyeshadow in your um in your makeup bag. So say hello in the comments. If this is your first time here, make sure to type a number one or drop an emoji. So I know um, it's your first time here. I want to welcome you. And uh, also too, um, just as a reminder in the description um, of my videos, you can always uh, check out a free makeup guide. I have a free makeup guide for you. Um, in fact, this is the link. Um, if you wanted to copy this down, um, this is a free guide for you to download. And I just like to share um, that little freebie for you. So so anyhow, make sure to check that out. And I always type in the description as well, um, any of the products that I'm using uh, so that you can learn more about them. Okay, so, all right, let's get started here. Um, so first of all, I just want to kind of run down exactly what is a hooded eye. Um, so a hooded eye basically means that, let me do this side here, that this part of the brow is much larger than it is than than it is to the lid itself. Okay. So I do not actually have hooded eyes. I have more of what you call a standard looking eye. Um, and that just means that I have all of this lid space here. And then I have just a little bit of this area here to work with. So this would kind of be my hood, if you will. Right. So a hooded eye is almost exactly the opposite. It has less lid space here. And then there's more of this part here um, that you see. And so it's protruding forward. Um, and so the trouble with that, or the, the thing that kind of bugs us if we do have hooded eyes, is that we don't look like we have a, a crease in our eyes. And so there's no contrast. It just looks like there's one kind of um, lid basically. Uh, that that you see. And so using different techniques uh, will definitely uh, change the game for you and help you a little bit. And these are super simple and easy. There's lots of different ways that you can work with hooded eyes. But I thought, you know what, let me just use like two different colors um, and show you a few little tips in actually the application of them. So uh, so anyway, these are the two colors here. I have a light um, color called biscotti. And then the top one is called hazelnut. Now, when you have hooded eyes and you want something to not stand out more, then you're not going to put a whole lot of light color, right? Because anything that's a lighter shade is going to draw forward. A darker shade is going to recede, right? So we don't, we already have this space on our eye hooded area, that lid part. Um, we want to kind of pull that back a little bit and make it look more receded and have, uh, make it appear as though it has more of a crease, right? So ultimately we're trying to increase the space of the lid, the illusion, right? Of the space of the lid and less of the hooded part, right? Okay. So with that being said though, um, having just a base shade like, um, biscotti is a nice color. Uh, just don't use any shimmer. That would be one, uh, tip for, for me to you is just to don't, don't use any shimmer when you have, especially when you have hooded eyes and we really don't want a whole lot of shimmer underneath the brow bone anyway, or underneath, underneath the um, eyebrow. So with that being said, I do still like to have a matted, you know, uh, place to work with here. So if you want to just like tap it on a little bit and just kind of dust it, then use a light and then also use the end of the brush like this. And that also, because it's not real heavy down here, it's going to give you kind of a lighter application. So you can just kind of dust it on and that gives you that like matte, um, uh, you know, foundation to work with or, or priming the palette, so to speak. Okay. So that is one thing that I recommend doing first with that color. Then secondly, this is the most important part. And this is the funnest part is using a brush. Um, you can use one similar to this. It means just basically you want to have something that's um, uh, kind of uh, denser uh, as far as a brush goes. You don't want a real big fluffy brush necessarily. Um, you want something that's a little bit more specific on where you're going to apply the color. So I'm going to take a little bit of the hazelnut 
and I'm just kind of tapping it there. I always kind of tap off the excess. And then here's, here's the big tip. Number one is look in the mirror when you are applying your eye makeup. I know that sounds funny, but it's the way that you're looking in the mirror. So if you're looking down like this, what you're doing is you're typically like lifting your eyelid um, like that. And then you're looking down, you're not going to have um, a good uh, placement of the color because you're looking down like this. So you really want to look straight ahead and you want to basically put the color like literally right above. So I'm going to go just a little bit above my natural crease, just to show you as an example, I literally am keeping my eyes open <laughs> while I apply the color. So one of the mistakes you can make is to do this. So don't do that. Um, in fact, what you want to do is look straight ahead and you can even kind of tilt back a little bit too that way. And th there you have already made the appearance of a crease come with just one color. Okay. So now what I recommend doing is after we've kind of gotten our, um, our new crease sort of uh, lined up here, then I recommend applying that color in kind of like a windshield wiper motion all across the lid. Okay, so we're trying to create more of um, the lid here with the color. And so you're literally like, it's really super easy. You're just kind of going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, windshield wipers. Um, with that color. Okay. So it's pretty simple. You don't really need to use a lot of different colors per se with hooded um, eyes. You can keep it super simple and just use these two like that. So you can see, I brought the color a little bit higher up here and that's just to kind of show you where I would put it. If I did have hooded eyes, you want to go above where the natural crease line is because your crease is probably going to be closer to down here. Okay. But you want to make it look as though <laughs> you have a crease higher up, right? That's what the illusion we're creating. Um, so you can just see, even just with my eyes, looking at them, how different, um, they look with just that little bit of color and contour. Okay. So then what I recommend is using the lighter shade and I'm using just a little, um, kind of a pointed brush. And what you can do is I'm doing this side now, is apply it like literally right on the lash line like that. And that'll kind of just give that more open look to the eye area. Okay. So I'm just kind of tapping. You could use your finger too. I mean, it's not um, hard fast that you need to use a brush necessarily, but just see how that little bit of, of, of light color there um, just helped that to kind of open up the eye even more. So it created that illusion. Um, okay. And then last but not least, uh, the pencil, I would highly recommend not going too heavy on any eyeliner because anything, of course, if you're doing dark eyeliner here, it's going to, again, kind of draw the eye line down. Um, so it's going to make the, the eye look heavier, right? And we're trying to kind of open it up. And so um, I, I would first recommend um, maybe using a pencil. These are super soft and they're waterproof, which is great. Um, but go kind of from the bottom here you guys may have seen me do this before, but kind of like, um, it's called tight lining and you're just sort of putting a little bit of the color where the water line is of the lashes. So I'm not going necessarily on top per se, because I don't want it to be looking too heavy. So I'm not going to like reinforce that, but I'm just going to put a little bit under the lid. I'll do a little bit more on that side. So it's just giving that, um, illusion again of, uh, of some contrast between, uh, the colors there. So anyway, I hope that helps, um, with your hooded eyes and that technique there. So remember tip is <laughs> the biggest tip here, I think is to make sure to look at your eyes in the mirror when you apply, <laughs> I did not mean to do that when you apply and you want to go right into like above here, above the crease, and you're going to go back and forth, back and forth, but keep your eye open and look at your eyes while you are applying that color. And that's going to make a huge difference in um, your application. And then of course, I, I kind of swiped windshield wiper, swipe the color all over the lid. 
And then using that um, little bit of light shade there, just right on along the lash line to help kind of open things up and then apply your mascara and you are good to go. So thanks so much for joining. I hope that tip was helpful for you uh, for my hooded eye girlfriends out there. So thanks so much and I will catch you next time.